no, 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 no. <laughs> I think, yeah, Jarkko Moilainen, uh, chief capitalist in Apin Oy, a company, company in Tampere, but lo people located already in, in Brazil and uh, Ukraine and uh, India and I don't know where else. But the headquarters is in Tampere and uh, not to tell you about coding, not to tell you about fancy uh, APIs, I'm, I'm here to tell you about boring science. So um, uh, API economy sounds a fancy world, word, but it's, it's, not, it's not rocket science. It's just API, science about API economy. And who knows this guy? He looks a bit different nowadays, but who recognizes who's this guy? One. I'm sorry to say, guys, but start following the API scene a bit more because this is the Ankin Lane, the API evangelist, the biggest guru in, in currently in API world. He's a guy who's doing a lot of research, a lot of publications, and is followed by a lot of people and companies nowadays. And he's he's a pioneer in, in doing any kind of research in long term in API economy itself. And his work has been, as, as he all, uh, himself says, it's, it's more like an evangelist work. It's not, uh, he's, he's, he's doing research on multiple fronts, uh, from how to manage DNS management in, in APIs. So what's the design part and design process of the APIs? How's the API management of APIs? What's the security and uh, what's the automation part? So he's touching every area alone. But that's all he does. That's his work to eventualize different kinds of solutions and practices and uh, do some background research on it. But he doesn't have any, any kind of academic ambitions or even interests. He doesn't use any citations. He doesn't uh, reflect that. Uh, he doesn't have any sources. He just does his stuff. So he's evangelizing. He's not doing research. It's a one-man show. But I was inspired by this. This guy, which I have uh, uh, met a few times. And uh, I just finished my own PhD research on 3D printing, pre-production, and despite of that, I'm still intrigued to do research more. Pre-production is close to my heart, so doing together, sharing with each other is the, is the way of doing for me. And I've been always an open person. My CEO, current CEO, said to me, I think it was last Sunday or Saturday when we were chatting in, in, the, in the chat room uh, about some, some stuff about openness. And he said to me that, uh, look, Jarko, all, all people have to do is follow what the hell you say in Twitter and in Facebook and in, in any kind of social media. And you, they can actually know what you do. So I'm, I, I saw that as a sign that I might be too open at some point. But so far, I've, I've, I've been given the permission to be as open as I wish for any kind of matters. So from that point, I had the idea uh, some weeks ago about starting API Economy Hack Lab. A hack Lab, how many of you know what is a Hack Lab or Hacker Space? That's a few. Well, take a look around uh, from the web, for example. Hackerspaces.org is the, is the way you can get in, get in hand of that. But it's, it's, it's a community of people who are not constrained by anyone. The community decides what they do, when they do, and what they focus on. In hackerspaces, they do, do exactly what they want. And uh, the idea is that we take that kind of ideology from there to the, the research in API economy. We're not connected to any kind of providers, uh, service providers or anyone. We don't take money from them. So they, don't, they can't control what we actually research on or what our results are, are or they're published or not. So we're not tied to anyone. We don't have no obligations towards anyone. And that's the idea. And it's a group of researchers uh, who normally does work in, in some way with the API economy in practical way. So we don't want to be in, in chambers, in the universities, in the 12th floor, in a room there, observing the world from there. But we want to be where the action happens, 
to interview the developers, B calls the developers, B calls the API managers as persons, B in the field, and uh, from there actually see what, what it actually is. So participatory, uh, and, uh, uh, participatory observation and even participation is, is required and wanted. And what, what we aim to do is, well, produce valid research and information about API economy, whatever interests the specific researcher. We don't narrow your scope to, for example, developer experience or API management or security. You pick your focus yourself. Uh, for example, mine is, I'm obsessed with the developer experience. Not, not so much about security or, or anything else or making making revenue, but the developer experience is my focus. Now, I'll, I'll stick to that. And uh, by default, all the results are CC license. So Creative Commons license open for everyone. So open access is preferred option for us. Hiding information, research information behind uh, uh, paid accounts or something, that's, that's not science what it should be. That's the current change is happening now. The open access is now really coming forward. So we don't, we shouldn't be paying for journal articles <coughs> again and again and again and again. And well, yeah, we focus on API economy, whatever, however you want to understand it. But also, if you want to be there's this, you can, you can go to platform economy because those are tied together in a way. But mostly we'll focus on, on API economy because it's, it's tangible, easy to understand. Platform economy tends to go to my, macro economics and uh, talking about Amazon business models and stuff. And that's kind, kind of far away from the field research itself. What about developers? Well, if you are a developer and if you're part of the API Ops network, you might be invited to participate in, in some kind of research. I'm about to do my first invitation to the developers to participate, because I need around five to 10 developers to be interviewed about the onboarding process of any API. I want to model, model the onboarding process and uh, what's the pain points that the developers are, are experiencing at the moment, for example. It will be anonymous whenever you participate. Your name will not come up anywhere. Because, uh, so that's, that's the way research should be done. You respect the privacy of the, the people who are actually participating. And have, uh, we're asking for developers to, to have an open mind, even though they are researchers. Some of them are PhD, some of them are masters, some of them are uh, becoming masters. So they are trying to, trying to educate themselves and they think at that point possibly quite academic way. So be patient, be patient, and uh, let us learn. And uh, we might find something interesting for you to read, but mostly it will be the boring stuff that you already know, but the researchers verify that it, it is actually how we, how we suspected it to be. That's basically it, and we have a blog at the moment in the Medium. Uh, it's quite long, uh, yes, in the URL, but there you, you'll find the list of uh, current researchers and the ones that we are going to invite to it. And there's also uh, my, my first research on this topic. Uh, the, 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 uh, the plan for the research is there. The questions I'm going to use in the interviews are, gonna, are there already, and the invitation for, for the research for the, for the interviews is already there, but it hasn't been sent out yet. So I'm, I'm finalizing a few things and then I'm gonna start the research on my own time. So this is a hobby, this is not part of my work. I'm, I'm doing it as a, as a compassion. So if you want to want to be involved in, in, in any way, please join us because, for example, this research we are doing together with Anasia and our aim is to actually publish it as an article in journal. These things, some of these things go to academic journals. That's the aim. So it benefits Nasia, uh, benefits me as well because I get, a, get another article somewhere and a, and a scientific and a, a, academic article, which can be then used by others. I think it's also a really good chance because in the field of 
user experience, developer experience is still new. There, there has been like very few articles or journal papers about it. So people, it's a good uh, opportunity for people to learn about these things. Yeah, it's a, it's it's one. It's my my passion and my interest. So yours could be totally different than the other researchers. You've got. Nimaki from 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 uh, TUT might have a different approach and different things. So it's it's we're not limiting the researchers to what you should research. We're just giving API economics, pick your topic, start doing do it in your production way. That's it. All right. Any questions? Perhaps this was a rather short, and I hope to have a first results to you. Let's say in November or December.